Hello, you're welcome to Ask The Fixer tonight. How are you doing? Are you happy? How is your sex life? Remember, your relationship is your life. It is very, very important that you take care of it with all seriousness. Seriousness, make sure you take your relationship to a counselor. Make sure you are checking up on your marriage, you know, time to time. Book an appointment with sex therapist or professional marriage counselor because it's the right thing to do. Welcome to my channel tonight. Have you been subscribing and have you been sharing the video? I am glad to have you here. Okay, so my question tonight says, I am a young entrepreneur. I have this lady I'm dating, never had sex with her because she's a very good girl. She's a virgin, but she doesn't have a big ass. I'm an ass freak. <laughs> it's funny, pardon me. I really want to get married ASAP, but my friends are telling me not to marry her because they know I love big ass. I don't cheat. They said if I marry her, I might start cheating when I see other girls with big ass. Dr. Tolu, please help me. Hmm, interesting question you have there. Now, is it wrong to have preferences when it comes to physical look or physical appearances, whether as a man or as a woman? No, it's not wrong. It's okay for you to like what you desire in a man or in a woman. But it is also very important for you to know that marriage is a serious business. All right. So it's not just what it's not what you get into just because of us or because of boobs or because of height or because of six packs. Those are good things. You know, it's not it's not like they are bad and it's OK to desire them, like I said. But now basing, you know, your commitment on those things could actually um, be a sign of problem for you. You know, so because you love someone, you find all the qualities you are looking for in that person. But because the ass is not there, you still do not want to get ahead. I mean, go ahead and marry that person. That could be a very wrong thing to do because the person ticks, you know, all your boxes and it's just this one thing. But in, in, a better way for me to answer this question for you is to understand that when it comes to, if you remember your economics in, in secondary school, Remember, we talk about what we call the scale of preference, where you have your opportunity cost and your alternative foregone. The same way it should be when it comes to relationship and marriage. No one should go into marriage, especially without having their scale of preference. Please, it will make you to make the wrong choice and it, it could make you to be like, uh, to be in a position where anything goes or anyone goes. It shouldn't be because it could spell doom for you in your marriage. So you need to prepare your scale of preference. Now, in your scale of preference, there are opportunity costs and there are alternative for God. There are qualities that you know if you don't find in this person, you are going to cheat on this person like you have said. You are going to, you are going to uh, probably not enjoy that marriage like you have said. If your own is being a virgin, fine. So if it is having us, fine. So list your scale of preference. Now, tick your opportunity cost and tick your alternative for God. If us, being a virgin, being a good girl, being God-fearing, and all of that are in your uh, opportunity course, definitely, if you are serious about it, and you also possess, you know, the qualities that somebody like, I mean, the kind of quality you are looking for, you also know you have such qualities. So it's not going to be difficult. As long as you know you yourself, you are okay, you also possess all the qualities that other people might be looking for. Why not? You can find a lady who has an ass and is still a virgin. So it's not a bad thing to, to desire all of these things. But like I said, to help you to answer this question, just make your scale of preference and tick your opportunity cost and alternative for God. It will help you to make the right decision. All right. I just hope I've been able to help you to solve that headache. All right. Thank you for being a part of my show tonight. Do not forget to subscribe so that as soon as a new episode is coming in, you can be able to see it immediately. Thank you for joining me. Stay safe.